after Philadelphia's most famous mob boss, a mistrial declared for Skinny Joe Merlino. The jury told the judge they were hopelessly deadlocked. Our Dave Schratweiser is live outside FBI headquarters in Philadelphia tonight with details. Dave. Ian, it's no secret that mob boss Joey Merlino is a big-time gambler. Well, he rolled the dice on this case in New York, and he came up with a victory, at least for now. The judge declaring that mistrial after the jury couldn't reach a verdict. On his way out of court, Merlino said, thank God for the jury. How's things? Good. How are you feeling? Good. When mob boss Joey Merlino walked into court at the beginning of his trial in New York over three weeks ago, he had a prediction of sorts. We got a good shot. Merlino was partially right. The jury saying Tuesday they couldn't reach a verdict on the four counts against him. His camp viewed it as a win for the 55 year old mobster. He was potentially facing more than 10 years in prison on health care fraud and gambling charges. John Terry is the former head of the FBI's organized crime squad here in Philadelphia. I think you could make an argument that he would feel empowered. At some point, you know, you want to be able to just sleep at night without worrying is there going to be a knock at the door or a bullet coming through the window. The government relied on informants like J.R. Rubio, who wore a wire on Merlino, and other mobsters, compiling hours of secretly recorded tapes. But Rubio got beat up by Merlino's lawyer, Ed Jacobs, on cross-examination, as did two other government witnesses. Any comment on Rubio yet? Nah, can't say nothing. So now the question is, what happens to Merlino next? He recently overcame heart problems and appears to be tired of the government's relentless pursuit of the Philly mob. He's already spent over 15 years of his life behind bars. Terry believes Merlino's future is uncertain at best. At his age, is that the end of his career as a mobster? I don't know. You know, at some point, he's either going to, you know, die of natural causes die, you know, of an untimely death or wind up in jail for the rest of his life. Now, Merlino's lawyer, Ed Jacobs, told me by phone tonight from New York that this is the way the justice system works. We accept it. He had no further comment. Both sides will get together on March 6th to see if federal prosecutors will retry Merlino. Organized crime figures told me tonight they're betting on Merlino. Ian? All right, Dave. Thank you.